Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Mardek. Let's continue. Right, we're here, and we wanted to give the hair gel to this guy, right? Or do we give it? Hair tonic, yeah, we did give it. And now I need to give it to the guy in the fire cave, I think? Question? No, return to game. I forget the controls. Quite often. Right, fire cave, I think. Let's go there. Because, uh... Maybe it's time to actually explore that. Maybe. Actually, no, robot. Robot time. I need to have the engineer boy in my party, don't I? And probably Gloria, too. So... Snack, you go out, you... There we go. We have all the ingredients now, so let's let's get to casting this spell. But uh, huh? how, do, how do we go from here? Hmm. Let's have a look at what we have to do with the ingredients. The ingredients in our possession of the spell seems to surprise, seems surprisingly easy to do, considering it's a forbidden dark magic and everything. It seems that you might even be able to cast it yourself. In fact, it says whoever casts the spell will become the uh, master of the bound soul, and I think that should be you rather than me. So, what do I need to do then? You need to concentrate on the object that you want the soul to be bound to, concentrate with all your willpower, and say these magic words here. There's also a bit of energy manipulation, but it doesn't seem necessary for the person who says the word, right? To do the energy pushing, so I'll do that while you just say the words, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, but I, c I can't actually read these words that I'm supposed to say. Oh, right, you can. Um, if I speak them to you now, I might bugger something up, or half cast a spell, so no, no, it's not. So, um, do you have some kind of writing implement, or like a pencil or something? I have my little lucky pencil right here. Okay, I've written down a phonetic translation that you should be able to read. So, if you just read these out, that should be fine. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Now, uh, when do we begin? When do we begin? First, you'll need to shape the energies appropriately, like it says in that book. It'll take a few seconds, but you you know when it, when I'm done. So, um, just wait a while and you should be fine. Once the energies are set up properly, I can hold them like that for a while, so you can't wait too long. Then you just have to say the magic words in a loud, confident voice while fo focusing hard on the object that you want to bind the metal man to here. Nice handiwork, by the way. That's amazing. Th th thank you. It means a lot coming from you, Miss Shaman. Yes, well... Uh, you'll know you're speaking magic words properly when you use your voice to go... To go all the magically... Wait. When your voice will go all magic and dramatic, the words will sort of try and force them themselves out from themselves. So, it won't be too hard, even if you don't have any magical skills. Yeah, yeah yes, okay. Let's get started now, shall we? Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I, I, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Then please give me a few moments while I get ready to- while I ready the energies. Hmm, I hope it's been long enough because I- Ah, Nrel. Bellamonth. Chalice. d d d d That's... That looked like... F like that looked like four souls. Did it work? Uh, Metal Man, can you hear me? Processing. What the devil? Worth in the... Worth in the Dreadlord's glorious name am I? What am I? A blasted hell? I can see, feel, hear. But... You there. What is the meaning of this? Uh, yeah, hello there. What is this? This isn't the afterlife. Who are you people? What is this thing I'm in? Who are you? Me! This is my space! That you are invading! Whoever you are, whatever you are! Oh, bloody wonderful, this is... Just when I thought I got out of this insufferably depressing world, I get wrenched back in by some madman. Ah, oh, truly my misery is endless. That really utterly endless. The gods despise me, I see. What a world. <laughs> Life! Uh, is, is this supposed to happen? I don't know, maybe it's because of the way you're trying to put the soul into... Or, or, it seems like too many souls were summoned. It's all my fault. I might st stammer. It affected the magic wars. Yes, yes, very interesting and all that, but what the hell is this? And who are you, you tiny, feeble little mouse? 
Please don't antagonize the man. This could all be just kind of some kind of mistake or misunderstanding. I'm sure things will go back the way the natural order in a few minutes, so let's savor this new experience while we can. And better just some evil wizard again, making me suffer for his own amusement. Just like the gods throw throughout the, my whole existence. Why can't it just end? Ugh. <laughs> I made of metal, metal shiny. My legs feel funny. <laughs> Where am I? Not, not the pixies again. <laughs> the pixies. I thought I escaped them when I drilled them out of my head. Why? Why did they continue to torment me? I'll get them. Come on, pixies. Uh, uh hello there. I am a uh, Mary Laura, an inventor, and I uh, built this thing. I'm a metal body, truly a wondrous piece of m machinery. It can be used like a living human body, but without any of the bodily needs. I have summoned you, your soul, um, to ask you to help me in an experiment. You see, we don't know what happens after the death, and aren't sure, but by summoning souls into a form that allows them to speak to us and act like living things once more, we can learn, maybe. And I also wish for you to create, for, for me to create the ultimate man here. My machine body is equipped with a mechanical brain that does not lose memories. Every skill you learn stays fresh in your mind, and what you can learn is nearly unlimited. Currently, you are capable of little physically, I'm sorry, psychically, but there is so much you can learn to help us all. This is the world in many ways. The ultimate man, but I'm a woman. A woman? I'm living in some tin can man with a ruddy woman? Ah, no, I'm sure, no, I'm sure, I'll surely have to listen to insistent nagging, with whining, sorry, inside my own head. Depressing, isn't it? Anyways, why in the glorious hells? Which is what I just, uh, which is, which I was just busy trying to conquer before you trapped me in your cage, you spimmering cur. Should I help you? What is, what, what is it? <laughs> what is in it for me? You uh, would get experience to, uh, to experience life anew with my invincible body? Uh, which means I can't even kill myself to rid of the bodily miserable drudgery of it all. How depressing. This all seems so against nature. Invincible body, say. I cannot die. <laughs> Take that, pixie scum. Scum. <laughs> you can't get me now because I'll get you. I'll get you, pixies. I have a second chance. So you be sure of this little toy maker. You have summoned I, the great Baron of Von Doomkill, to the thrones of death, into a nine principle ultimate death machine. And you expect me to just obey you? It's quite laughable. I think I'll go on a rampage instead and conquer the world again. The world with no fear. No fear! No fear! <laughs> <sighs> now look at what you've gone and done, inventor person. You should know that things always turn out exactly the way you don't want them to. It makes me so miserable just thinking about it. Uh, uh, should have never put trust into anything. You know, you always end up regretting it. I always have. Actually, the nature of the spell that we cast is that it binds your soul, or in this case souls, to an object, yes. It also binds them to service a, to a master. You simply have no choice but to obey Mr. Meriador here. What? I'm a slave? How the you're one of the pixies, aren't you? Slavery is not with the way of nature. This is so unnatural. I really must insist that you listen to your conscience and set us free into the astral realm once, once more. Uh, actually, uh, this does feel wrong. Maybe we can dispel again? Unfortunately, that's not possible. I probably have warned you about this, about this before you cast it. Oh, should have warned you about this before you cast it, but the spell is not one that can be reversed. The only way to release the soul is to destroy the object that's bound to you, so unless you want to destroy the metal man, I spent ye years of my life making that thing. Th this, this might, this might work though. If I can control this metal man, th 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 it won't go on any lethal rampages. And having multiple souls to speak with, to learn, will be better all around. Ugh, I hate it when people look on the bright side. I see. This, this is unnatural. I realize, but you people do seem to have noble goals for it all. You don't seem to be an evil wizard, at any rate. I would, be, I would be glad to help you until my time here is done. It will be a learning experience for all of us. We have an eternity of, to exist as souls anyways. So this isn't robbing us of first time. You cannot control me! I refuse to be your slave, you damn blessed! Interesting. It seems that we four souls are each capable of controlling this machine of yours, but only once at a time. Can we stifle, stifle this Baron Von Doomkill if you like? We can stifle this Baron Von Doomkill if you like.
Not all the time you can't. You a swine fondling goat buggering credence. I'll feed you to the demons. Goat buggering. <laughs> Funny. Oh, so sorry. I have not even introduced myself. I'm Dina, the shaman of the place called Canonia. Do you know it? Or at least I was the shaman. It could have been a hundred years ago. Though I have no idea how long it was since I lived. Oh, a shaman, really? Me too. I'm the, sh the shaman of Canonia now. There's so much you can teach me then. Oh, this is delightfully coincidental then. People near me as miserable old Martin, though I can't imagine why. I mean, my name's Eric, not Martin. Uh, I, I am Merida, the inventor. Pleased to meet you. And I am the thing your nightmares are made from. I ruled this world with an iron fist of darkness once, and I shall do so again. In time, you will see. You will regret this, slugs. Me too. I am not a pixie. <laughs> Seems that we all have a lot of thing. We have a lot. We have a lot to get used to with this um, arrangement here. Seems that the body we inhabit isn't available to move much just by our own accord. Perhaps you have to give us an order or something, oh, master. Uh, okay, I order you, metal man, to uh, follow me, but do not kill anyone. You can move of your own accord, but don't attack anyone. I bet it does work until you. And, and you, I bet it doesn't work and you all die painful deaths while we get trapped in here and the, and, and the universe ends. Huh. Huh. Your first and last mistake, little man. Seems I'm able to move now. Now, so I shall attack you. And I shall... Uh, damn it, all the hell that this isn't working. Yes, it seems that though we can move now, the body simply halts before it's able to strike anything. Interesting. But, but, but the pixies! The pixies can get us out? Also, are you going to keep calling us metal man? I don't care much for being referred to as a male. Technically, none of us are male or female at the moment, due to the being an artificial sex as an automaton possessed by the disembodied spirits. Which is depressing, because now, what do I ever have to look forward to this evening? Uh, what would be a better way of referring to you as collectively? Just the invincible and utterly grand baron von Dunkel will suffice. You need not acknowledge the existence of these other neatwits at all. Legion. Hmm? Legion? Ah, I see the logic in that. It's the demon man, demon man, right? Yes, uh, the demon man. There's this tale, you see, of a man who possessed by a whole, who was, pos who was possessed by a whole group of demons. So it was like he had multiple voices, multiple personalities. And he asked, he asked him, "What is thy name?" He answered, saying, "My name is Legion, for we are many." So I thought the name would fit. Do you? Yeah, it's certainly catchy and appropriate. I don't much care for essentially being called a demon, though. But it will suffice. I suppose it's suffice. I am worse than demons, but being acknowledged such will do for now. Well, uh... Ah, uh, Marduk, you're still here, I see. I, I, I think you... that you... Uh, now that I have Legion uh, here, I think my travels with you are over. What? Really? But... but wait. What are you actually going to do now that you have your metal man up and running? What is it for? Well, I made it so I could l learn things which it can... While watching people perform tasks, I can memorize them and use them itself. I wanted to learn a multitude of skills, so then I could be very useful in any situation to people everywhere. Once this this, this one has collected enough data, I would use it to make copies of the, the same memories built in. How do you intend to teach it? Well, I was just planning on showing it up books, maybe some moves of my own. Hmm, but it'd be rather slow, and it's knowledge limited. Uh, what about, say, instead you come with me, and uh, Marduk, and all of us, and Legion Cups too, watches our enemies and to learn their skills? But, but then he would only have, only learn combat skills. Not necessarily. I could also learn other skills by watching people on our travels, like skilled artisans or craftsmen. Oh, well, that does sound like a good idea. But to, to, to be honest, I thought I could stand to do this myself anyway. If you were left alone with you, you feeble little shrew, I would find a way to end you. That is soon. And it's decided. You and Legion here will accompany us in our journeys. Right, Marduk? Oh, 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 okay, I think. Th th thank you. This will be interesting. Probably has been a very long time since I've seen the world. I'm very interested to see how much has changed since I've been gone. I bet it's worse than ever, since it's surely descended into a, into a hive of miserable scum and villainy. There's nothing works right, and the evil people just rule and all that. It makes me depressed just thinking about it. Surely it cannot be as wretched as when I was it, as when I ruled it. But if it is, and even if it's not, I shall soon be in charge of it once more. To reduce it to grim chaos and living hell, oh yes! <laughs> there will be pixies! Pixies! <laughs> Anyways, let's go then. We've talked for long enough, eh? Metal Man, you're coming with me. Level 20 Automaton. Shit, you got actually decent level. How the fuck? 
wow. You, I mean, you have to learn skills, and that's gonna take a while, but you do have decent level. Why do that? Alright, workbench time. Alright. Wasn't there like a workbench I could craft stuff at? Or do I have to have him in my party? That would make sense. Also, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. Robot arm. Interesting. You can you use shields? You can't. Then you have different armor. You can't. Can you have accessories? You can't. You are literally just a robot man. There's two things we have to do. First of all, oh, we have me to have Merido in our party for him to actually craft stuff. Item storage, second thing. There we go, let's sort that out. Man, I have a lot of these goddamn gemstones. I do like the music though, I'll say that. In this zone. I'm not saying I like the music in every single zone. That would be just ridiculous. I don't see any fish scale, I'll be honest with you. So I'll just put these here. I mean, shit, I'll just put all the stuff here. So I'm pretty sure I already used that all to learn. So fuck Dugan still. I don't like the way he plays. Actually, I really don't like the way he plays. Don't need three of these axes, I'll be honest with you. Don't think I need these staffs. Actually, maybe I'll need the fire one. Let's take that. Claw. And I'll keep that. Um... Put this in, put this in. Put this in. Do we have like a fire amulet? We do. Resist fire by half. We could try that. With the firefight. Other than that, mostly have everything we need here. Let's sort again. There we go. And now we can save. Sorry that it's taking me so long to do anything in this game, but I am just learning how to play it as I go. I don't really look many things up, except if I'm stuck, so... Yeah, there we go. Now we can build stuff. So we have this one, copper plating, right? Yeah. Uh, we have different claws, right? Clasping claw, claw, which gives us... which skills? Accuracy and damage. Look pretty good. Damage higher and shield break. Damage even higher and... Mmm. I can make... This one, I think. Maybe I... Do I have Earth Essence? Fire Fire to Earth. Emerald. Fire Fire to Earth. Emerald. Evening Star. I don't think I have that. I can definitely make this. But how about we actually let him learn them for a second? I keep pressing escape because of Lisa. Alright, we'll have him be little metal man here. And we'll put in Slick. I think it was his name, right? Then we'll go. Go where? Sadly, we'll go to the Fire Temple and give it a chance. Even though it's difficult as hell. Also, um, Mordek, do you have by any chance Soul Strike? No, good. That's good. 
I could put this on ice. I don't think we need double gold anymore right now. Uh, but also we don't need anything else really. We're fine. Here, volcano. Mm -hmm. I have the map open just because I'm gonna probably need it. I'm gonna go left here. Even though I know right was the right path, I think. I think. Because I want to go to the cave with that old man. As going to the cave with the old man actually allows me to, uh... Whatchamacallit. Give him the stuff I got. I'm pretty sure. No? Hold on, let me, let me look up that quest again. Quest. Quest smart. And I want to look for the. The one where it's like trading. Here. Oh, I, I have to go to Ariopolis first. And then to this guy. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I have to do that. So I'll do that. Ariopolis, here I come. What was this? It was just water, right? Yeah. Have you actually learned it? You have. We don't need that anymore. We don't need food finder that much either. Strength is what we need. Maybe a bit of agility, yeah. And then we need to resist fire, which I'm gonna give to you just a second. Yeah, there we go. As for actual accessories, that resists fire 100%. Yeah, it even absorbs it. You don't need any more. But you, for example, you kinda do. How much vitality do these, each of these have? This one is less. There we go. And you also. There we go. Now they're ready to actually get attacked by fire. Keep forgetting about my boy here. Right, I have to go to the temple. I don't remember if he, this is where the temple was. Oh, this was the king, I don't care about him. I think that temple down there was the right one. Maybe this was the museum though. The theater, no. On the right side then. Speaking of though, where's the museum? Over here, right? Do I have anything I could give my boy? Yeah, 15k, thanks. There. He also gave me a... Uh, what's it called? He gave me a... Uh, dreamstone. I'll read the dreamstones some more some other time, because I know I have like two of them now. It'll say new on the, right, the ones I haven't read though, so it's fine. No, right side was this, and I still don't know what the key to the uh, place down there is, because I don't think I have it. Yeah, no, I don't have any key to open that.
I still don't know how to get it open. The guy here would lure me with a key, but no. Okay. Well, then up, I guess. That's where the temples are. Yeah. This one. You. Romance novel? Yeah, yeah. You, you want that romance novel? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you for the scrumptious cake. Food. Yep, I'll give it to the uh, guy in the cave. And warp here. I have, I have two I can use. Minus agility and maybe plus on HP. we go now we go fire temple we're gonna attempt this fire temple guardian I don't I don't really care I just really want to get it over with though The fight after the gu the guardian is the hardest one because you're fighting the loser squad again. If I still can't get it, I'll try the Earth Temple before that. Yeah, Scrumptious cake, little wooden key. You're right. I think this is for the Earth Temple, so that's why I have to do this now. Although, actually, I don't need to save here. I'll save right before the boss. Which was this way, I think. I say I think, because I don't actually remember. If it actually was... Save here. I like Legion, by the way. I don't think I've actually said if I like him or dislike him. I do like him. Make another save here. And then in we go. I'm the guardian of the fire temple, yep. We have heard about this before. No. It's not good. Legion is instantly dead. It's not that's not good, I can tell you that. I don't know why he instantly died. He's dead again. We see, so if I arrive him again, what can he actually do? Mimicry. We haven't learned any abilities yet to mimicry. But he's useless for now. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, sorry. Um, this actually isn't the best. We're just gonna wait and let him kill us. Having Legion here is not a great idea simply because we have a lot of Legion. Also, that was inversion. Inversion, what it does, I've, I've, I've been told recently. It inverts your resistances. There we go. Good thing I saved right before. I'm gonna put in probably a dog. I think at least. Yeah, I think that would be the best option. It's not you. you. I forgot to give him Talisman. Okay, so Marduk doesn't really need the uh, talisman, the earth one. No, that's the fiery one, sorry. You know who does? The dog, though. Inversion might kill it, but it's still more important. We didn't even have it enabled. There we go. Now, it should work better. Zero. That's nice. Fine. 
smarts on defense, you just need to attack once more. Mega Barrier. It's absolutely fine, because I don't think you stand a chance anymore. Ruby Essence, Fire Essence. That's really good. Okay, and one thing we will do is we'll use items to get ourselves back up. There we go. We should be good. Also, we don't need these ones anymore. So, let's get these off, and put something better in the turn. SBR? Why do I have the SBR thing? On him. Get strength, my boy. We're talking SBR up, you should have that. Let me see here, what else could I give him? Hmm. I guess I'll give this back. Maybe, no, actually, I have that. Oh, you, no, you can't have it as well, I'm like, sorry. Let's get the crystal. Yeah, we've already read this before. Now we have to fight those dweebs. Yeah. Let's go. I have to take care, uh, care of the girl first. Sleep! Are you fucking kidding me? What's a weak kill? Weak to light and dark. That's not saying much. Damn it. Then we'll hear heal. Don't kill the damn dog. I like the one shot. That's fine. Pleasant sunbeam. Try this. Only five hundred. Stop killing the dog, okay? Actually, just stop killing the dog. He's important to us. Try to poison me, eh, bitch? Get poison something. You're slowly but surely not healing enough. It could kill him yourself, I think. Dog is dead. That's fine. HP. Oh, you healer. Oh, she just, just so happens to have 50 HP. God fucking damn it. I hit her. Fire heals us. Actually, fuck it. He hit everyone with this. I should hit them with the earth ability so they have vitality lowered.
There we go. She's down. Sleep again. Hey, you don't get it anyway, he was gonna die. Right, lower. Oh, you just fight over. Don't kill both of them. That's not good. We have to get rid of the other wizard. Curse. Oh, you fucking... Oh, God. I see how this is going. Phoenix down to you. I know you can get a turn after him. Phoenix down on... Her. That's fine. Phoenix down on... It. Dog is fucking dead again. Phoenix down on him. Phoenix down on her. Does a sunbeam. Dead again. Not dead. Surprising. I'll lower my dogs again. Missed. Reaction curse, and I'll be like 1 HP. Blind, that's fine. I have to kill the fucking spellcaster with spells, which is the annoying part. I think he heals, maybe? Question mark? I don't know, but I'm not really dealing any damage to him. I think I just attacked. This guy. Reaction counter attack. Oh, don't shoot, just gotta have that. Let's boost. Okay. Bar skin to Mordek. What do I have? Curse. Um. Holy water. Curse. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's um is a better potion. Oh no, mug boy juice on my deck. anymore. 400. Making some progress. Yeah, we use this again. That's 
that's that. Where are you getting revived? Alright. That's death. That's not good. Need to revive. Maybe I should kill Benny? No. Sleep. Mm. Pleasant Sunbeam. We're gonna have to increase our MP. Okay. Should I try this? Noxious bomb? Sure. There we go. Let's do Razor Leaf on you. Like this. There we go. Because like this, he's just gonna die next time, so we can focus our attention to the other guy. Boost. Oh, you, you wanna do that? Okay, sure. There. Now he is going to die. Next time we attack with Snake. I think that he's still asleep is really good. One thousand damage. There we go. As for this, do this. There we go. He's still asleep. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, how I love it. No longer asleep. Reaction, he took all my HP. I see how it works. You can only beat him with elemental attacks. 
We're fine with that. What's it weak to? Weak to Earth. Is there anything he's really weak to? Well then, um, about some really cold fire. Fire breath. Then dog, do solar fire. Nice, there we go. We actually did it. No fucking way. Gold ring and all the gold stuff. Why can't we win? What is it about you, soldier man? Little knight. We are the heroes. We always win. This world is made for us to win. That's the way things work, at least. I always thought. Always thought. There, there, boss. They're probably just meant to be. We are some mere current antagonists that we always lose to. Now, now we get their uh, comeuppance in the end, and we defeat them in the final battle. That, that must be. It. Yes. There's no other explanation for why we would lose them so many times. But you, fellow heroes, we're all trying to save the world together here. There's a. This is true that you will be. The ones told me you did the greatest good and defeat the final boss, yes, but I'm sure that we will have a part in the big drama that is life, too. So I wanna ask of you. Oops. I wanna ask of you. Um... Can I have a look at the crystal, please? Well, only if you look and don't steal it. Swear by my strong, firm, lawful, good-beating heart that I will use no trickery. This is Ben... That is Benny's job. Oh, there. Here, look. My word. It truly is magnificent. Pwah! That beauty worth a pretty penny. There are people whose love these... We would change uh, whose lives we would change for that better with the other one. Oh my god, it looks so powerful and magical. Uh, amazing. I prefer the dark one myself. But I was quite a fan of this one too back in the day. I thank you for showing us this night. I hope you will get to manage our own hands and on I hope you will manage to get our own hands on it one day. One of these days. We will use this as a motivation to work even harder. After all, we are bound to find them eventually. For we are the world saviors, the protagonists of he the heroes of this world. Now, away with the saviors. We will get the next crystal before these pe petty soldiers, for sure. I'm just really happy I got to actually beat this. That's all. Because this was incredibly hard. We are going to switch party members. We're going to put in Legion so he can learn some attacks, maybe. But god damn, yeah, this, 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 oops, no, don't do that. This was a difficult ass fight. Let's warp out of here. And into the forest, which is what we're going to be doing next time. I'm going to save right here. I've gone over the episode uh, time limit for this episode just because I wanted to actually beat those guys. So, I'm going to leave it here. If you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like, have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.